Hey friend, Graham Cochran here. Today, let's talk about using YouTube to grow your business. Now, if you wanna grow a business, you need an audience. Now, if you want an audience, you need to go where the people are. And where do people go? Online, at least. Well, the number one website in the world that people visit is Google. That's why we wanna be making content on the regular so that people can find us on Google. But the second most visited website in all the world every day of the week is YouTube. So it would make sense to wanna be there as well. Be where the people are, create content where people are going so that you can be found. Okay, that might make sense to you, but two important questions come up. One is, how do I actually grow a big YouTube following? How does YouTube work? How can I get more exposure on YouTube? We'll cover that, but more importantly, is how do I actually leverage YouTube to growing my business? How, how does having a YouTube following put money in my pocket? That's the more important question, and we need to discuss that first. First, let me say that growing a massive following on YouTube is not the goal, it shouldn't be the goal. It's just a means to an end. Look, for example, my business, The Recording Revolution, I have over 380,000 subscribers and well over 30 million views on my videos. But other than feeding my ego and maybe giving me some credibility in the audio and recording space, those stats do little to actually put money in my pocket. So the secret to actually using YouTube to grow your business is to convert those views and those viewers into email subscribers because email is where the money is and I've already told you that. So what we need is a strategy to take all the people that are watching your content on YouTube land, which is great, and convert them into subscribers on your email list because this is the place where we can offer them more amazing free content and of course, offer our products and services. So here's how we do this. What we want to do in YouTube land is create a relevant and high quality lead magnet that we offer at the end of each video. Okay, what do I mean? A lead magnet is simply something additional. It could be a bonus guide or PDF or another video or uh, audio training or something that we wanna offer them for free that in essence becomes a magnet for us to bring in more leads, to draw in more people. That's why I call it a lead magnet. And what we wanna do is not just make great free YouTube videos, which hopefully you're doing, but we wanna end those videos with a relevant CTA or call to action. And this call to action is a way to invite the viewer deeper into the relationship. If they found your video and they're enjoying it and they're liking it, let's go a little bit deeper. I wanna offer you something extra, something amazing that is relevant to what you've just been watching, but it'll go a little bit more in depth or it's the next logical step or whatever it is. And for them to get it, they have to click over to your website and download it there by entering their email address. Now, two things on this. One, ideally it makes sense to link them over to a landing page. Now, a landing page is a simple one-page website that has nothing on it but maybe a picture of the lead magnet, description of what they're gonna get, a box for them to enter their email address, and a way to opt in like, yes, give me the download or whatever it is. That way there's no distraction from the rest of your website that they could get lost in. Because the whole point is we wanna get them over to this site that they can download the free goodie and that gets them on your email list. You can make these quickly and easily in WordPress or you can use something like Lead Pages or Kajabi's free built-in pages if you use Kajabi. But even if you go to just your website, make sure you're linking directly to a page on your site that has nothing more than a place for them to opt in for that lead magnet. So it's very clear for them to find what they're looking for. Now what we wanna do is link to this directly in the YouTube description box. Big mistake people make here is they write a description of the video and if they have a link, to this lead magnet or to your website, they put it at the bottom of the description. No one's gonna see that, okay? The way YouTube videos work, the description is always short and cut off, and you only see a couple of lines, and then there's a link to see more or read more. No one really does that. So what we wanna do is put the link above that element, above the fold, like it would be on a newspaper, like the main headline. So before the description, you want to mention the lead magnet and have the link that they can click directly on to go straight to the offer page for them. Then once your YouTube account is approved for things like cards or end screens, then you definitely wanna link directly in the video 
there so they can click directly on the video and go straight to the landing page as well to get the lead magnet. Now what you want to do is do this at the end of your video, like I said, as the CTA. So when they've watched the whole video and gotten exactly what they came for, it's a natural pivot into, hey, if you like this, you're really going to enjoy this free guide they have. It does X, Y, and Z for you, covers X, Y, and Z. Click here or in the description box to download right away as my free gift to you. It's a supernatural pitch because it's relevant. It's coming off the heels of what you just taught or shared with them. So I have about four or five now actual lead magnets for Recording Revolution based off of different topics. So if I'm covering something that's more um, just recording and mixing related, I'll use my main radio ready song guide lead magnet. If I'm covering something that's about equipment in my studio, I'll, I'll share my home studio gear guide where I have gear recommendations. And that's the lead magnet for those videos. But it's okay if you only have one core lead magnet. This brand, the Graham Cochran business coaching brand has one core lead magnet called Get Paid to Do What You Love. It's a free training that I offer all of my students to pivot into starting a business. It's a three-step training and it's great for people that don't know how to monetize their ideas or even begin the process of growing a business. It helps them with that and it makes sense for the content I'm sharing here. Now, how do you grow your YouTube viewership, your YouTube following? Two ideas here that I want you to take away. One is you want to publish serialized content, content that's in a series. The idea is that YouTube is fighting for your eyeballs and they're fighting people like Netflix or Amazon Prime or Hulu or whatever. They want people to stay on YouTube land as long as possible because they can show ads and they get money from the advertisers and that's how YouTube works. So to do that, they wanna promote and elevate YouTubers who have long serialized pieces of content. They really reward multi-part series. For example, I have a seven part video series called Mixing with Compression, or I have a series on how to record a song from scratch. You put these into playlists and YouTube likes that. If they see playlists, if they see lots of videos and playlists and that they're relevant, they will promote your channel above others in YouTube searches because again, they know that you're gonna create more of a binge watch opportunity for their viewers and that's what they like. That's why all the makeup tutorial uh, YouTube channels and the video game YouTube channels are doing so well because they have these super long playlists with very similar content in them. It just gives someone who's watching them the next video and the next video and the next video so that they never leave. Those channels do well because people love to binge and they do well because YouTube promotes them because YouTube wants serialized content. So if you're not sure where to start with serialized content, two simple ways are with a mini series or a themed playlist. So a mini series for you might be, what's something you can teach on or show or cover that's a certain topic, but you could break it up into multiple parts. So it's part one, it's part two, it's part three, or multi-day parts. I've done this as well where I've had a 31-day challenge and there was 31 videos and they're all relevant. Day one, day two, day three. It doesn't have to be 31, it could be five, it could be seven, it could be 10. But what's something you could share on YouTube but make it multi-part, like a mini-series? Those are great because it gives someone a new piece of content to watch immediately after the first video or the second video, and that would be a playlist. A second one would be a themed playlist. So these are more open-ended this could be like an, a general topic that you cover periodically and you have multiple videos in them. So for example, like a lot of the makeup tutorial people on YouTube, they have themed playlists where they go shopping and they're buying new stuff. And anytime they go shopping, they add one of those videos into that themed playlist. For me on Recording Revolution, if I do a product review, I'm going to add it to that playlist of ongoing product reviews. So it's somewhat open-ended, but it's themed. It has a specific theme. And the more playlists you have like that, whether it's mini series or themed playlists, the better it is for you because YouTube will promote your brand. Now, a final important thought for you here on YouTube land for growing your viewership is you don't want to optimize for views anymore. And rather, you want to focus on what's called watch time. This is a major shift in YouTube land the last couple years is back in the wild, wild west days, the early days of YouTube, all they cared about and all we cared about was how many views you could get. If you had lots of views, then YouTube would promote you. It made sense because if you had a channel that had a million views, 
that must mean that people like your YouTube video. That must mean it's relevant so YouTube would promote you if you had lots of views. Well, people got smart and they hacked that system and they would put thumbnails um, or misleading titles that weren't relevant to the content inside to get you to watch their video, but it could just be a random four second video of a cat meowing and nobody cared about that. But it got a lot of views because it tricked them into getting those views. And even if you watch one second of a video, it counts as a view. And YouTube realized this doesn't necessarily mean people like these videos. It just means they're being tricked into or at least convinced to click play. So what they decided to do is shift their algorithm. And instead of focusing on views or rewarding views primarily, they reward watch time. It's the currency of YouTube these days. And watch time is really simple. It's how many minutes of your videos are people watching? If you've got people watching lots and lots of your videos or a large percent of your videos in terms of all the way to the end, that must mean that you've got relevant content because they didn't just click play and watch it for a second. They kept watching for minute after minute after minute. And YouTube wants that because they want eyeballs and they want people to binge. So they reward you if you have a high watch time. So this changes things because back in the day, you didn't want long YouTube videos. You don't want to scare people away with a 20 minute video. So you'd give them short minute long videos, 30 second videos, two minute videos. But now actually the tables have been turned. Longer videos are better if they're good because we wanna get people to watch longer. If I can get people to watch longer, YouTube rewards me, ranks me higher in YouTube searches, which means I can get more viewers, I can get a bigger audience. So this allows you to do longer videos, to stray away from the 60 second videos and go to a 10 minute video or a 20 minute video because if you provide massive value and people love it and they stick with it, you will be massively rewarded. And the great thing is that YouTube makes this very easy to figure out for you. You have a whole analytics section of your YouTube channel baked in. Check out your analytics, look at your most viewed videos by watch time, like maybe the top 10, and you can see which of your videos people are hanging in there and watching. That tells you a lot of what people like already and what kind of videos to make more of because they're already working for your audience. And if you can optimize your videos for watch time, you will continue to win the YouTube game. So the simple takeaway for you in terms of optimizing YouTube is don't try to hack your way into getting clicks and views. Focus on creating massive value, creating super quality, relevant videos to your audience that they like. If it's entertainment, give them really good entertainment. If it's education, give them really solid stuff, not fluff. Draw them in, make in-depth videos, make multi-part videos, make themed playlists, just add tons of value and follow the analytics so you know what people are watching, how long they're watching and what to give them more of. So YouTube is where the people are and you need to be where the people are if you want a massive audience and you need a massive audience if you want to grow your income and grow your business. But remember, YouTube is just a means to an end. We don't care how big our following is or how many viewers we have or how many plays we have. What we care about is getting those eyeballs from YouTube land over to our email list so that we can eventually offer them good products and services there. It's the best way to grow your business. So create a powerful lead magnet that's relevant to your videos, put it on your website or on a landing page and make sure you pitch it at the end of every YouTube video you do and make it the focus and the goal of your YouTube channel. Now that being said, wherever you're watching this video, Let's continue the discussion. Let's continue this relationship. I want to help you turn your ideas and your knowledge and your skills into a stream of income. And maybe you just want to start a little side business to create some extra money, or maybe you would like to transition out of a day job that you hate into doing work that matters to you, work that you love, work that's flexible. Either way, my free training called Get Paid to Do What You Love will be the perfect thing for you. It'll help you pivot into the work and business you are meant for and learn the three steps to monetize that, meaning to get paid for what you know, get paid for what you love to do. It's about 45 minutes. It'll walk you through everything you need to know. It'll give you some homework and action steps. It's absolutely free. My gift to you, just go to grahamcochran.com slash get paid or click the link in the description box below this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to these videos. I can't wait to see you on the free training and can't wait to hear about what results you get after going through all three of those steps. See you on another video real soon.